Hey friends, with great joy, I would like to introduce you to Authorizer 1.0. Authentication and authorization has never been simple before, especially in the open source space. Now, you can get started in three simple steps. Deploy your Authorizer instance, configure your Authorizer instance, and integrate it in few lines of code. Isn't that amazing? Let's have a quick look at all the features that Authorizer comes with. It comes with secure session management, multiple auth recipes with support for all the major social media logins, basic authentication and magic link login. We have a mantra of your data, your control. Bring in your database and have a secure auth layer on top of it. We now support 11 plus databases including major SQL, NoSQL and GraphDB providers. Isn't that amazing? Now we can integrate and implement in just few lines of code. Authorizer comes with a built-in universal login page, but if you want to have your own custom UI, you can use our React SDK and there will be more SDKs coming in future. Also, you can use authorization code flow with React Native. So, you can have a quick sign up and login flow for your mobile applications as well. Wow, that's amazing. Now, you can secure your APIs with role based access control and also your UI. Just show the parts that are relevant to the users. You can deploy your authorizer instance anywhere, either on your infrastructure using one-click deployment options, using Docker, using Kubernetes, and also using binaries. Now you can send the customized emails from authorizer platform itself. You can configure an email template for various authorizer events. Not only that, you can also listen to authorizer events and perform custom actions on top of that. This feature is enabled with the help of webhooks. So you can configure the webhook to listen to various events and take the further actions based on your application. Also, now Authorizer comes with multi-factor authentication. So you have an OTP sent to your user's email, especially when they have multi-factor authentication enabled. Isn't that amazing? So let's see how you can do all of this. So Authorizer comes with a built-in dashboard, which you can configure and have amazing features out of the box. So you can configure all your social media logins over here. You can configure the rules of your application over here. You can do various JWT token configurations, like which encryption you want to use and how, how should the role claim be named and much more stuff over here. You can set your session storage, you can do email configuration. So you can just configure your email provider over here and then you can configure email templates later on. You can whitelist your domains, you can add organization information. Now this will be used while sending emails or rendering the universal login page. You can add extra data in your access token. You can also enable or disable few of the features on the platform itself. You can invite the users via CSV or also via the individual emails. So here comes the webhook features where you can just configure the webhook for various events and just, you know, set the extra data or the headers that you need from your API. And here comes the email templating part. So yes, you can configure and design your own email templates, special in responsive format, test them, and just save them. And this email template will be used while sending the emails. For example, this particular email template will be used while sending the magic link login. And similarly, there are a few more events that you can configure. Isn't that amazing? Also, let's have a quick look at how our universal login page looks like. So this is the page that comes out of the box for you and all the features like forgot password, reset password, and everything is configured in this particular application. So in case, if you don't want to build your own UI, just use the universal login page. 
Wow, that's amazing. I hope you really like this amazing set of features. You can support our work by contributing to the project or doing a GitHub sponsorship or buying us a coffee. And also big shout out to all the community members who have just supported and contributed in this project. Thank you.